Welcome back to the Sports Report. We have some special guests with us live in the studio, the Allen East Wrestling Team. I'm joined here with uh, head coach Mike Abbey, and Frank will be on later to talk to some of the wrestlers. Coach, uh, good to see you again. We, we try to have you on here at least once a year. Welcome back. Thank you. It's, it's uh, always fun to be here, and I uh, brought a couple guys with me again this year, so here to talk a little wrestling. Well, we look forward to talking. Mm -hmm. and I look forward to talking to you right now. You know, you guys are off to a terrific start this season. Uh, just as an example, LCC Invitational last week, you guys improved immensely from your showing there last year. You had four guys who placed first, guy who placed second, couple guys who placed fourth, when you had two second place finishers all of last year. So Drake, Carmi and Cade Weiderman, Chase Miller, Garrett Neth all placed first, Brennan Davies placed second, um, Blake Hirschberger placed fourth. So what has led to the improvement from last year to this year? And you guys were pretty good last year too. Um, just their experience, I think. Um, you know, we had a couple. We had three. All uh, three of those guys were state qualifiers last year. Um, uh, both Drake and Garrett were sixth place last year at state. So a couple state qualifiers in the or state placers in the room. Brennan was a, a state qualifier also. So um, just their work ethic and uh, just their. I think everybody's expectations have you know just climbed from you know the last few years, and uh, we've kind of been waiting for this year to come along and. Uh, um, it's been fun, that's for sure. They've been working their tails off. That's really, <laughs> that's really what it is. And uh, as you see, I, I, I have a little hoarse voice and we haven't even wrestled this week. So um, it was a pretty intense practice today. And uh, they, we had one of our best practices uh, all year today. So uh, um, give, give credit to them and uh, stepping up. And we had the week off and the weekend off. So a real big week next week. Wasn't sure if you were horse or maybe you were doing your Ed Orgeron impression. I wasn't, uh, wasn't no, quite certain. No, <laughs> uh, no, no, but I've, I've, I've heard that a couple other times here the last few weeks. So, Probably. Uh, yeah. So but, uh, it's, but it's let's talk about this year. You mentioned this year. Um, what what kind of made you circle, you know, this year? What do you feel like has, has come together in a sense that you feel like uh, was has been building up toward the last couple of seasons for you guys? Well, last year we had a pretty full lineup also. We have another, we have 13 of the 14 weight classes. Um, and just um, the last few years, we really haven't had any seniors. Two years ago, we had one senior. Last year, we had no seniors. So we knew this year was coming with all the experience those guys have had over the last few years. Um, you know, um, Drake is a two-time state qualifier and so is Garrett and now they're state placers. Brennan was down there. So just the experience and the confidence that gives you and then that rubs off on the rest of the team also. And um, you talked about Blake, Blake Hirschberger, you know, Chase Miller. Chase has had an excellent season, just a sophomore for us. He was the, uh, he was one of our winners uh, last week also at 152 and just uh, th those guys' work ethic and the way they work in the room. And um, I, I heard one of the other coaches just saying their, their camaraderie the way that they, uh, the fun that we have in there for as hard as we work and as hard as I am on them at times, <laughs> um, their work ethic and how they love wrestling. And uh, that makes a big difference. Coach Mike Abbey, always a pleasure to catch up with you. And now we have an opportunity to hear from some of those guys that you push and are very hard on and who have done such a great job. Frank has uh, got three of the Allen East wrestlers. And Frank, what do you have for us? Thanks, Patrick. I'm here with Garrett Neff, 195. He's 24 and 1 with 19 pins. Brennan Davies, 285, 27 and 4 with 20 pins. And Drake Carmine, 126, 25 and 2 with 16 pins. Guys, thanks for joining me. And clearly, this is a group that likes to end a match on their own terms. I know you like the chicken wing. What are some of your favorite pins? Mine's normally uh, I throw in double boots and then I throw in a <coughs> power half to end the match. Do you have a close second to the chicken wing, Garrett? Um, close second, I'd probably do a power half, too. A lot of my kids are big enough that they just kind of roll over when I get on top of them. So, <laughs> hey, um, that's the nature of the 285. Yeah, I mean, power half probably would be the, the best one. Uh, cross face, Coach is miming that across the room at me right now. Um, that's probably another big one. Very nice. I was more of a cement mixer kind of guy. but <laughs> um, So this has been a huge program over at Allen East. And I was at your practice two weeks ago, and you guys go hard. There are you know very short breaks. You're pushing through injury. Um, how does that translate to the mat? And this is an open-ended question for any of the three of you. Uh, well, we believe that you know if we can if we can mimic a match in the room, you know, conditioning-wise, uh, toughness-wise, um, we'll be ready for anything. When we're out on the mat in a tournament. 
So we like to emulate that by going as hard as we possibly can. Um, you know, things are going to hurt. You know, when you're having to cut weight, you're having to get yourself mentally and physically ready, things are going to hurt. So uh, we like to push through it, battle through it, and get ourselves battle tested before the match even starts. And Patrick mentioned the tournament over at LCC. You've had some really uh, tough competition this season. Uh, what were some of your most notable wins this year that kind of stick to mind? Uh, last week, I, uh, in my finals match at LCC, I wrestled the number three ranked guy, ended up beating him 7-2, so I'd probably name that my most, the biggest win of the season. I'd say my probably my biggest win was probably finals match at LCC too. He was number four rank in the state right now. Uh, I had a guy um, that I actually wrestled last year at districts. Uh, he was my uh, the match that actually won that sent me to state. Um, I wrestled him again this year in my semis match and I pinned him. So I feel like that was a good uh, a good tell of where I'm at and where I'm improving. Um, so I'd have to say that's probably the biggest one so far. And Drake, you know, you wrestle at 126, you're usually going a full six minutes. You know, what is that like as a wrestler in tournaments where you have to kind of watch your stamina when you're wrestling, you know, four matches in an afternoon? Uh, it's, it's, well, normally after each match, if like it's a shorter match, like with the 16 pins, we normally run sprints to open up the lungs kind of because that's <laughs> what coach always wants. And that's what kind of helps me kind of get through that six minutes with the better guys and the, the guys that are like, more talented and then mainly like the, the work in the room that we do just running condition wise it just it helps so much more just being able to push through that six minutes a lot of state qualifiers in the room how did you guys approach this off season try to push forward this year um i play football in the fall so uh i didn't do too much wrestling over the summer or anything but i pushed myself in football and stayed in shape you want to go uh i think I think knowing, you know, going down there, you don't know. You only have a guess as to what state's going to be like. Uh, so I think knowing, having a year down there, having the experience kind of shapes how you do your prep. Um, mentally, I think, is the big one. Because, I mean, you can be in the best shape in the world, but if you're not mentally ready to step out onto that floor with all those people and all the lights, it, you know, it's kind of a deer in headlights type thing. So I think for me, you know, being able to mentally prepare, get ready for that stage, I think was the big key for me, just getting ready for that.